Right out today we uh, Stuart he's using my back stereo and uh, I've got my XP DS I'm running it in hot uh, full tones and XY screen so uh, on a bit of plough at minute this is planted up like but told me to get on it don't worry about it not just yet anyhow right mm, uh, might get on a pasture after after a bit we get an hour or so on here right get back to you in a bit right first signal give me 82 and there you go give me a good signal because it's a buckle in it but uh, it is an iron buckle but I don't mind them any sort of buckle will do for me right so that's my first signal right happy with that right back to you in a bit right getting a big signal off this Feeling it were a piece of iron, but I weren't hundred percent sure, so I thought I'll dig it. There you go. Oh shoe. Right, let's hope I get a bit of luck today. Right, back in a bit. Right, it's windy today, so I hope it's not uh, interfering. But anyway, I've just gained a real little tiny squeak. Uh, give me a 81. And I thought, well, it's somewhat deep, this or somewhat right small, whatever. So anyhow, I dug down about what nine, nine inch, somewhere like that. And there you go, a bit of copper wire. Right, back to you in a bit. Right, just to show you, listen to this. That's give you a seventy three. That's give me a 0 4. So a good signal we iron in oil. Right, I wanna do a live dig anyhow. <laughs> Come on, where are you? Here we are. Right. Should be here somewhere. Nope. Got it? Nope. I'll find it. Right, it's in here. In there. There we are. Right. Right, it's only a bit of tin can, but it's still a high conductor, so there you go, picking it out in, in among iron. Right, that's alright. I just. I'm still digging a lot of things that I wouldn't normally dig uh, if I'd got used to the machine 100% but I'd have dug that anyway because it was a good signal in amongst iron so now I'm talking bollocks again I'll shut up <laughs> back to you in a bit right this signal will give me a sweet signal and then as I come off it it will give me a grunt and it's a, a multi CCR it's for when they're a bit close <laughs> That's a new one on me. <laughs> right, back to you in a bit. Right, the next signal will give me a 97 and right to paint. And I thought, I'm going to dig it. I nearly left it. Right, and right in bottom of oil. 
down there. There you go. I think it looks half crown size. So I'm hoping it is. <laughs> there dear. I say, look at that. Depth at pinpointed. <laughs> I think it is. I ain't looked at it yet. I'm not gonna rub it. Come on. <laughs> Chuffed a bit. How oh, deep that is. Proper deep, a really faint target that. I nearly didn't dig it and I thought, nah, go on. Oh, look at that, Bobby. What is it? Yeah, for crown, I think. I used to there when I was a kid. Oh, look at that. <laughs> kid help. Oh, I hope it might be a Vicky, but I'm hoping it's a George third. Victoria. Oh, it is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, that is gorgeous. So, what's that? 1785. Yeah, oh, 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 look at that. Got uh, patina like on it. Oh, that's gorgeous. That it? is absolutely dog bollocks. <laughs> that's been my day, that. Oh. Okay, now. Now nah, then, <laughs> XP day, that's a crap. I ah, know, <laughs> the bloody rubbish, them XP days, I'll tell you something. Oh, that lovely. We've been all this area at field loads oh, of times. Gorgeous, Me, Gary, Ian, tell you, Jeff, I think, has been on and all. I'm over it moving with that. Oh, that is a lovely colour. That has made really my, that's made that, my, that's made my 2018, yeah. that. That is gorgeous. Oh, that's a beautiful. I've never had a Vicky Eighth Crown, and to get one in that condition, <laughs> too funny. If, if I hadn't suspected it were iron, I'd have live dug it. Yeah. <laughs> but because I thought it were iron, what eh? did you get on? What did you get? That really one? faint, but it were 97. It were over like that, right over. Brilliant. Right, back to you in a bit when I've stopped, uh, when I've calmed down. <laughs> right, that was my last oil. Now that uh, half crown come out there. Eh? And this is the next oil. And I've got some of it here. And it looks very similar to that one, but it could be a penny this. But I'm not green. sure. It's green, isn't it? So, let's have it out. Come on. Look at that! Oh, what's this? Britannia on back. It's as smooth as hell, look at it! What is it? It's a penny. Look at that, that's as smooth as hell, that. <laughs> so, some poor buggers lost two and sevens. <laughs> yep, yeah, Vicky Bunhead. Oh, yeah, it is, isn't it, yeah? Vicky Bunhead. What year? Oh, I don't know about a year, I might not get a year off this. It's very smooth, isn't it? Oh, I think I'd class that as a spill, will not you? Yeah. Definitely, so they lost two and sevens. <laughs> and I've fun it. <laughs> right, back to you in a bit. Right, I'm getting a 96 on this. And there you go, I've just scooped that out of oil and it's there in my hand. <laughs> right, that looks like eighth pence. Uh, in fact, no, it's farthing that. Yep, that's a farthing, I think. Let me just check. That went as deep though, that, that were inside the oil. That'd be about six inches deep, that maybe. Three coins in about what? Six foot. Three foot? 
Well, it's there, isn't it? <laughs> right, back to you in a bit. Right, I'm getting a faint 88 signal. Sweet as a note. Flipped it, uh, 89, sorry. Flipped it out, and now I'm getting a booming 88. Sound loud as out. Right, it's about there. Come on. There. Ha ha ha! George Fifth Penny. Here you go. George Fifth Penny. Lovely. Happy with that. Right, back to you in a bit. Still has got a signal here, it looks. I'm not sure it's a cigar tube, lipstick tube or what. Again, a cracking signal though, it's made out of aluminium. Oh well. But what oil will water log? Water logged it again, or water filling up as soon as he took a spoonful out. Right. Bloody hell, I'm going to be a coin. I know, it was a good signal there. Yep, let's uh, I'm buzzing me, I ain't come down yet. Do it show me his coin. Looks like an half penny size, mate. Uh, till that cleans it a bit, we don't know what, but it might be a Vicky, it might be George, you don't know. Okay, he wants to clean it up properly, don't he? I can't see it really. I can't see it without cleaning it. Right, at least he's got a coin anyhow. <laughs> right, back to you in a bit. Right, I've got a lovely 81, 82 here. So, uh, it's straight across screen on XY screen from bottom left to top right. Absolute beauty signal. Come on, where are you? Right, it's in here. Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> right. Stuart's got something good and all, but it sounds on it. I don't know what I've done with this, I've dropped the tooth. Uh, right. Oh, yes. It's a love art. It's a love art. Heart shape, yeah. An heart shaped uh, pendant badge, whatever. Live dig and all. That's a good live dig, that. I usually dig shape when I dig live. Right. Heart shaped badge. Happy with that, that's alright. Right. Stuart's got so much here. What the hell just a blank plate or something? I'm not sure, mate. I can't see what's on it. It's too over for a coin, isn't it? Ah, it's over, definitely over. I don't know what it is, mate. Oh, well, I'll clean it up, see what. I think it. I think it's, it's just like a blank. Don't feel it? like a coin, though. No. no, that's not a coin. I don't know what that is. I don't know what it is, Very but uh, it's slightly oval shaped. So anybody got any ideas? Answers on a postcard or put <laughs> in comments. Right, back to you in a bit. Right, I had to dig this. And there you go. Large size Celtic cock ring. It's not for Chieftain, it's for 2IC, second in command. So... There you go. <laughs> Back to you in a bit. Right, I've just checked this and it's a 91 on this. So, it's Stewart's. And he's got a buckle. Nice one, mate. It's, it's, it's still got the leather in it, though. Aye, it does. So it'll be 1900s, that you can bet. Something else. It'll not be old, but uh, still got leather weight. 
the earliest 1800s and older. It's all stuck anyhow, in it. Yeah. But, uh, there you go. Nice live dig. <laughs> Get on. There's something else here. There's something else. Let's have a listen. Right at the end of there. Ninety-one. That might be a signal, or it might be another buckle. But that buckle again, you're a good signal anyway. Shut up. Another buckle. buckle. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Another buckle. He's got the D. D buckle. Oh. Hello, mate. Right, sound. Two buckles in one clod. Right, back to you in a bit. You've got a 41, 43 in here. Lost it. It's here, mate. It's a dog disc. It's not fire, though, is it? It's bag on. Bagon, Bagon, Bagon. Bradway, Sheffield. Sheffield? Yeah, the telephone number there, but we're not getting it yet. Can't turn this off. Here you go, Three things in one oil. I just won. I think I better check that oil before I turn the camera off. Yeah, let's swing on it. Three, four, Three, six, seven, that's an old number, that. Six-digit number. Old. Yeah, well, oldish. Now, that's it, aren't they? Right, that's it. Back to you in a bit. The another. Well, ah, the another. Ah, don't right. There you go. Another uh, bit off a dog collar. It weren't all stuck, it was a dog, uh, dog collar. So if we keep digging, we might get dog bones. <laughs> so we've gone over. <laughs> right, back to you in a bit. There you go. A big Celtic cock ring with a flange. Massive flange on it, that's so it don't fall through. <laughs> I ain't carrying that of them. <laughs> right, back to you in a bit. Right, round up for today. Biggest cock ring I've seen. Then that's uh, multi cock ring for close friends. And that's another. <laughs> and we've got a iron bottle buckle. And this is my crap. You can see what it is. There you go. And a piece of coke. I dug that purposely because it will give me it straight up and down on XY screen. I thought, I want to dig it, see if it does tell you true coke. And it did. Straight up and down. Right, then I've got a heart shaped badge. Young Ed Victoria Penny. Old Ed Victoria Half Penny. George the fifth penny and last but not least there you go beautiful Victoria half crown I'm still buzzing there you go and it's 1883 right so there you go, that's my finds. And we'll do Right now Stuart's finds. This is his junk. Most of it. Celtic cock ring. Right, and then we don't know what that is, it's oval shaped and it's smooth on both sides, but it's no writing on this what we can see. That's a half penny, I think George the third. And then we've got a dog disc. Uh, name tag there and all where I've been on collar and uh, buckles for collar. So there you go. Anyhow, we've enjoyed it. Weather's been great. 
The best part of the day now we've just been on about. So anyhow, from uh, Stuart. Good day again, Paul. Till next time, and from me. I'm here. See ya.